Hi, my name is John Whitehead and welcome to this week's video blog post. I'm a leadership and executive coach and I work with a number of organizations and specifically with senior and emerging leaders in those organizations. And so over the last number of weeks, I've been writing about COVID and how as leaders, we should be responding to the situation we're in with a pandemic. I've talked about um, communicating. I've talked about the, the new, what the new normal might be. So f we had COVID, the pandemic, and now we have the knee. And things shifted again. And the news shifted from the worldwide pandemic to racism. And I was going to say racism in the U.S., but it's not just the U.S. It's everywhere. And in Canada, where I am, we have had uh, a national dialogue on the fact that it is here as well. That racist remarks, racist comments, we have them here too. And in fact, today there was uh, on social media, on my social media feed, there was a story about an incident that happened right in the community that I live in. And so it is around us. So as leaders, what do we do? What's, there's a struggle here. There's a struggle um, because one of the challenges we have, and I was reading an article about um, some of the tweets and social media uh, releases that have been made by top corporations. And when you look at the list of corporations, I think in the top, that list are big ones, and we're talking, you know, Nike and uh, big retail operations, Walmarts and those types of businesses. They're white. There's very few non-white CEOs or leaders. And if there are a few, they're just a smattering. And so, coming from a place of privilege that I come from, what do I say? If I, as a leader, if you are a, a white leader, what do you do? What do you say? And I think saying nothing is not what to do. Because there, I, I'm, I'm not sure of the quote, but somebody was once quoted as saying that if you are, if you remain neutral, you're actually um, supporting the wrong side. And I think we've probably seen that in history time after time. You know, I go back, my mind goes back to Second World War Germany, where there were people that were silent, even though they saw what was going on. And we even see that, that here, that people are silent. I've seen comments about uh, from people saying that they will no longer be silent. They don't know that, that this has been the moment for them when they've seen what's happening. And I think that's probably what we're seeing on our television sets around the world with protesters. Enough people have said, you know, this is, this is it for them. But again, as leaders in organizations, what do we do? I think as a coach, one of the things I try and do with my clients is create space. I create space for conversation. I listen. As a coach, I listen. I, I get curious and I ask questions. So maybe that's what we do. One of the organizations that I'm connected with, that's what we did yesterday morning. We had a telecom, Zoom conference everybody's having Zoom conferences right now. We had a Zoom conference with a number of the consultants that work with this organization, people like myself. And it was around, what do we do? How do we bring this forward in conversations? As an organization, what should the organization do in terms of presenting the challenges around racism? Uh, the unconscious biases that we all have. How do we raise that? And again, as a coach, if I'm working with a leader, a lot of what I'm talking about is raising the awareness, raising their self-awareness. How can we, when, the, when you see a spark there, that's, do, you, do you go down that road or don't you go down that road? And as a coach, we don't want to be uh, directing the conversation, but I think it's fair enough to ask, 
a question. You know, I'm curious about what you just said there. What does that mean to you? And open up the dialogue and then be ready to listen. Do I have the answer? No, I don't have the answers. I think that's part of the struggle, right? Many of us are standing there going, what do we do? What do we do? But I think what, I, but I think the least we can do is slow down and listen reflect on what our own words might mean to others. What, um, you know, again, uh, it's unbiased, it's an unbiased, we don't, sometimes we don't know what we're saying. We don't know how it's being perceived by other people. So we need to raise that consciousness about that. So create space, create space for dialogue, ask open-ended questions, stop, listen, reflect on our own actions and what we might be saying and how they may be perceived, being perceived or impacted by others. That I think is what helps us be better leaders and maybe better humans. Something to think about. You know, I'm always interested in your comments and ideas. Thank you for those that do uh, send me messages. Uh, please, if there's something that, that this, um, this triggers for you, feel free to reach out and, and stay safe out there. As uh, uh, bon Dr. Bonnie Henry, our chief medical uh, advisor here in British Columbia says, um, stay safe and be kind.